Oklahomans could soon learn more about who's funding ballot questions across the state. Capitol reporter Storm Jones is tracking a bill that would beef up reporting requirements. He joins us now to break that down. Storm? Uh, Carl, Amanda, Oklahoma voters are often faced with several questions in the voting booth, from legalizing medical marijuana to approving OKC's MAP sales tax, and soon even a new vote on funding an Oklahoma County jail. Under the bill passed today, campaigns supporting or opposing those types of questions would have to disclose where their money's coming from. It's just a level of transparency, and I, I think most Oklahomans uh, appreciate the transparency. Some Democrats noted the bill removes a requirement to get organizational documents notarized, something that is required for absentee ballots. Other than the removal of the notary requirement for the filing of the, the in, in creation of the committee, it is unclear to me what the end objective is. The primary focus is to any uh, committee that is formed to support or oppose state questions would have to file with the Ethics Commission so that the people of Oklahoma can know who is putting money for or against state questions. Some Republican lawmakers have supported making it more difficult to pass state questions. They argue out-of-state interests are able to fuel campaigns to change Oklahoma law. And you never really know. You see a lot of advertising, but you never know who's really for it or against it. And it just gives the citizens one more level to help them determine if they're for or against it. And while the bill did pass off the House floor today, the title was removed, signaling the author has more work to do before final passage. In the studio, Storm Jones, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.